And I definitely personally hope centralized exchanges burn in hell as much as possible. <laughs> 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 The thing with developers is, right, that we're, we're fairly fungible people, you know, we can kind of, you know, one developer goes down, someone else can keep on developing. If someone puts a gun to my head and tells me to write a hard fork patch, I will definitely write a hard, hard fork patch. I will write the GitHub <laughs> issue, I will write up the code, I will publish it, I will do everything they say. Um, how, if I, do, if I um, pub, um, do this and I publish a, a, a hard fork patch to delete um, file a, a bunch of accounts. Um, how many people here would be willing to download and install the update and switch to that chain? I see relatively few raised hands. <laughs> this is called decentralization. Um, so, Do you personally own any crypto kitties? Um, I think like two people gave me a couple of crypto kitties and I haven't really looked at them since, but you know, they're around. Uh, <laughs> I mean, tokenizing real-world assets, whether they're securities or gold or bonds or like fiat or like I don't know, like pixels of some Banksy photo or whatever, I think is like all interesting. It doesn't seem psychologically that easy for people to make the leap from paying forty million dollars for a Mona Lisa painting to paying forty million dollars for a. Uh, digital private key thingamajig that claims that it has some arbitrary attachment to a Mona Lisa painting. And that's like, okay, fine, I understand that. I don't really understand the art world in general anyway, when you can just like photo, take a, a, a painting and then like make a copy that looks almost identical. Um, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Even if centralized exchanges end up having a lot of volume, like the, the better decentralized exchanges are at the ba um, as a baseline, kind of the more happy I am because that way we can really like take away this uh, stupid king making power that these centralized exchanges have, or like where, where they have this ability to just decide which tokens become big by yeah, um, just deciding to list them and then charging these crazy ten to fifteen million dollar listing fees and. Um, like the more we can get away from that world and into something which actually you know like satisfies the blockchain values of openness and transparency, the better. I definitely am less optimistic about private and consortium blockchains than I was two or three years ago. Um, basically, because like there's there's like there's this bubble and there are a lot of promises and like oh my god, IBM makes two hundred million dollars savings by putting something on a blockchain, and I have no idea what they actually did. They probably just like digitized something that was paper before and like great. Um, <laughs> they, um, which other blockchains interest you by which we could measurably, uh, which other blockchains do you actually have private keys for? For experimental reasons or whichever. Ooh, um, well a lot of this is uh, kind of historical reasons, but um, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin gold, uh, I don't know, like, <laughs> Bitcoin uranium, Bitcoin diamonds, Bitcoin carbon dioxide. Oh <laughs> uh, no, um, let's see. Um, I got some Doge. I think I think I got some Zcash, um, in all sorts of Ethereum-based tokens. Right. Yeah.